Hello friends, in the last video we solved a 1D steady state heat conduction problem in cylindrical coordinates using finite difference method. In this video we are going to solve a 1D transient heat conduction problem in cylindrical coordinates using finite difference method. Our objectives are to present a simple 1D transient heat conduction problem in cylindrical coordinates here the temperature variation is along the radial direction only. We will solve the problem using forward time centered space finite difference method. We will vary grid spacings and obtain solutions using finite difference method and present the results graphically. Our domain is shown here. This is a cross section of a hollow cylinder. The inside radius of the cylinder is shown as R in. The outside radius of the cylinder is shown as R out. The temperature at the inside surface is T R in and the temperature at the outside surface is T R out. The initial temperature in the domain is T in. The domain is divided into a number of segments in the radial direction as shown here from 1 to 6 and each segment length is delta r. The general heat conduction equation in 3D cylindrical coordinates is given below which is dou square t by dou r square plus 1 over r times dou t by dou r plus 1 over r square times dou, dou square t by dou phi square plus dou square t by dou z square plus g over k equals 1 over alpha times dou t by dou t. Here uppercase t represents the temperature and is a function of radial dimension r, phase angle phi, vertical dimension z and time t. Alpha is the material property called thermal diffusivity and is given in meter square per second. Alpha equals k over rho c where k is thermal conductivity of the material watts per meter kelvin. Rho is the density of the material in kilograms per meter cube. C is the specific heat capacity of the material in joules per kilogram kelvin. G is the volumetric rate of internal heat generation given in watts per meter cube. We assume that the thermal conductivity k is uniform in the domain. That is, it is homogeneous and isotropic. For 1D transient heat conduction problem along radial direction with no heat generation, equation 1 reduces to a simpler form. We assume that the temperature does not vary significantly in phi or z direction when compared with radial direction. Also there is no heat generation term involved, so g equals 0. Accordingly, equation 1 becomes dou square t by dou r square plus 1 over r times dou t by dou r equals 1 over alpha times dou t by dou t. The, this equation is rearranged as shown in equation 3. That is dou t over dou t equals alpha times dou square t by dou r square plus 1 over r times dou t by dou r. And t is a function of the radial distance r and time t. The initial condition is t at r comma t equals 0 equals t in. The boundary conditions are at r equals r in, t equals t r in, at r equals r out, t equals t r out. To obtain the temperatures at the various nodes or in the domain, we solve the above PDE using finite difference method. To do so, we need to replace the derivatives with finite difference approximations. We will replace both the first and second order space derivatives with center difference approximations and the time derivative with forward difference approximation. Accordingly, we get Tin plus 1 minus Tin over delta t equals alpha times ti minus 1 n 
minus 2 times T i n plus T i plus 1 n over delta r square plus 1 over r i times T i plus 1 n minus T i minus 1 n by 2 times delta r. Let d equals alpha times delta t by delta r square where d is the diffusion number. Also let d1 equals alpha times delta t by 2 times delta r. Accordingly we get equation 4 which is shown as t i n plus 1 equals t i n plus d times t i minus 1 n minus 2 times t i n plus t i plus 1 n plus d1 over ri times t i plus 1 n minus t i minus 1 n. Equation 4 is the final difference approximation of the original partial differential equation we were trying to solve. Here i represents the node location and n the time step on the discretized domain. The finite difference tensor is given below. The above approximation is called forward time centered space or FTCS method. This is an explicit method. Hence temperatures Ti's at future times n plus 1 can be directly obtained based on Ti's at present times n as shown in equation 4. Explicit methods are conditionally stable. The stability criteria is given as diffusion number D should be lesser than or equal to 0 0.5. Also diffusion number D and time step delta T needs to be need to be smaller based on the accuracy desired. The error is of the order of delta T plus order of delta R square. Now let us discretize the only domain into say five segments or grid spacings equally spaced as shown below. Node temperatures at node 1 and node 6 are known and these are the boundary conditions. The interior nodes are shown above as from 2 to 5 and boundary nodes are 1 and 6. R in is the inside surface of the cylinder or out is the outside surface of the cylinder. R in coincides with node 1 or out coincides with node 6. Let R in equals 0 0.1 meter or out equals 1.1 meter. T R in equals 200 degrees Celsius. T R out equals 300 degrees Celsius. The initial temperature T in equals 100 degrees Celsius. Let the number of segments M equals 5 Total, total time t equals 200 seconds, time step delta t equals 100 seconds. So the number of time steps nt equals t over delta t, that is 200 over 100 equals 2. The grid spacing delta r is r out minus r in by m, which is equal to 1.1 minus 0 0.1 over 5 equals 0 0.2 meters. Hence R2 equals 0 0.3 meters, R3 equals 0 0.5 meters, R4 equals 0 0.7 meters, and R5 equals 0 0.9 meters. The diffusion number D equals alpha times delta T by delta R square, which is equal to 1 e to the negative 4 times 100 over 0 0.2 square, which is equal to 0 0.25. And this is lesser than 0 0.5. So the stability criteria is met. D1 equals alpha times delta T by 2 delta R equals 1 e to the negative 4 times 100 over 2 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.025. D1 is just a parameter. Let I equals 2, 3, 4, comma 5 and N equals 0. Equation 4 becomes T21 equals T20 plus D times T10 
is 2 times t2 0 plus t3 0 plus d1 over r2 times t3 0 minus t1 0 and so on. Substituting the values ti zeros for the interior nodes and t1 and t6 values for the bounded nodes and d1, d and ri's into the above equation we get the following. So we can now solve the equation and we can get the following results. Temperature at node 2 T2 equals 116.67 degrees Celsius, T3 equals 100 degrees Celsius, T4 is equals 100 degrees Celsius and T5 equals 155.56 Celsius. This is the first time step we did. For the second time step, I equals 2, 3, 4, 5 and n equals 1. Accordingly, equation 4 becomes t22 equals t21 plus d times t11 minus 2 times t21 plus t31 plus d1 over r2 times t31 minus t11 and so on. We again substitute the values of ti1s for the interior nodes and T1 and T6 values for the boundary nodes, D, D1 and Ri's into the above equation we get. T2 equals 125 degrees Celsius. T3 equals 103.33 degrees Celsius. T4 equals 115.87 degrees Celsius. And T5 equals 183.33 degrees Celsius. Graphical results are presented using MATLAB for this case. Using MATLAB or other software, we can develop course for a general case where the number of grid spacings is say m and the number of time steps is say nt and the solution trained accordingly. We can then vary the number of grid spacings to say 10 and time steps to say 200 or 300 and solve the problem again and present the results graphically. Let's go back to MATLAB. Here we have number of six sections m given as 5 And the total time as 200 seconds and the number of time steps as 2. The initial temperature is given as 100 degrees Celsius. The bound, at the boundaries, temperature is given as Tr in equals 200 degrees Celsius for the inside surface and Tr out equals 300 degrees Celsius for the outside surface. Let's run this program. Our diffusion number came out as 0 0.25, which is lesser than 0 0.5. So we have a stable solution. Our initial temperature profile is given here. The boundary conditions are at R equals R in, that is at the inside surface, the temperature is made at 200 degrees Celsius. The outside surface temperature is maintained at 300 degrees Celsius and the initial temperature on the interior nodes are 100 degrees Celsius. At time step 1, there is a there is variation of the temperatures. T2 becomes 116.67 and T5 is 155.56. For the second time step, when t equals 200 seconds, the boundary conditions are the same. T2 is 125 degrees Celsius, T3 equals 103.3 Celsius, T4 equals 115.87 degrees Celsius, and T5 equals 183.33 degrees Celsius. Let's look at the graphical results.
on the left hand side top portion the initial condition is given here the interior temperature of the inside surface is at 200 degrees celsius temperature of the outside surface is 300 degrees celsius and the temperature in the domain the rest of the areas on the interior nodes is 100 degree celsius in the final condition we have the same inside the boundary conditions are they remain the same but there is variation on the interior nodes on the temperatures on the along the interior nodes as shown here on the right hand side we have the surface plot showing the temperature variations with the final condition. Let's go back to the MATLAB program and rerun the program with different values. Let m equals 10 and the total time is 9000 seconds and total number of time steps let's keep it as 300 and rerun this program so again on the left hand side we have the initial conditions on the top portion where the temperature on the inside radius is at 200 degrees celsius the temperature of the outside radius is 300 degrees celsius and the temperature of the interior nodes is at 100 degrees celsius at the final condition the time equals 9000 seconds the boundary conditions remain the same but there is variation along the radial direction the variation in temperatures along the radial direction on the right hand side we see the surface plot and we can see the animated graphics here we set the total time as 9000 seconds so this program is going to run until time t hits 9000 seconds here and you can see the temperature variation along the, the radial portion of the cylinder we can now go back to our powerpoint presentation to summarize in this video, we presented a 1D transient heat conduction problem in cylindrical coordinates. The temperature variation is along the radial direction only. The initial temperature is given and temperatures at the inner and outer surfaces are fixed. We solve the problem using forward time, centered space, finite difference method and obtain temp the temperature profile. We resolve the problem using smaller grid spacings and time steps and present the results. In future videos, we can explore more challenging problems. If you have any comments or questions, please post it. Thanks for watching.